another hack that's definitely worth it for one to play. Save stateless... Well, in most cases. Super Mario Place. Hack by Clockwork. Well, let's begin. Mario, King Koopa stole the princess, and it's a Tuesday. He got to do something. Go. Yeah. Maybe I'll wait till Wednesday. But nah. Let's go on. Welcome to Foodie Land, where everything is named after food. King Koopa is keeping the princess and lots of food here. Must have been really hungry when he made this hack. Anyway. Most of these power-up boxes, I believe all they contain are mushrooms. By the way, you can't tell which ones are power-ups and which ones are not. Then again, isn't that the same for most question mark blocks? Shouldn't really be surprised. Th but it's just weird that they contain... Only mushrooms. Only the odd exception will contain either a fire flower or a feather. But they're mostly mushrooms. Unlike most Mario hacks. Just a modification of the yellow switch blocks, I guess. Anyway. This first level is apparently a red level. But I think we need the cape in order to get there. And we won't be getting the cape for a little while. So let's just focus on this instead. The normal route until then. Yeah, you need a Yoshi, and you need a feather. What's up here? Okay, maybe not a feather, but... You definitely need a Yoshi. Because... It is a keyhole exit. Actually, wait. No, you don't need Yoshi. So I could just do it. I could just throw the key up there. Whatever. Right off the bat, we do know it's a rad level. First level in, and already I'm going to want to pause the recording. I forgot about the Yoshi, so I can't get the secret exit right now. But I do know that I don't actually need the feather. Two mushrooms. Or in this case, cherries, of course. <coughs> All I need is a Yoshi, and then I can go immediately to the secret exit for the first level. <coughs> but where is the Yoshi going to be? We don't know yet. Hmm. We do know, though, that this is kind of risky here. I'm, su I'm surprised we started out with a water level already. I forgot about that. And what's that blueberry about? Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's just a normal Yoshi coin like the rest of them, but... Again, this is another one of those hacks that I haven't played in a while. Eh, let's go ahead and touch it. Yes, it's a Yoshi coin. And collect the halfway point while I'm at it. I do know there's some levels which are probably going to require save states, because they are much easier with a cape, and they have numbered platforms. And what do we have up here? Okay. That one was just a coin. Hmm, and what about this? Why was that one a heart? Uh, okay. Ah, uh, I'm not go I'm not going all the way down there. I'm waiting until I get a Yoshi. 
And don't worry, this is not a Kaizo trap because they do see some ground right there. Yep, goes all the way to the end. Cheese Beach One. Hmm. This does feel oddly different, though. Could remember. Could remember much earlier seeing the pasta area. Or maybe it's just the fact that the pasta area the last time was the first area where I died. That's probably it. We could tell that one was a 10 coin block right there because it did not remain completely empty. And what's this one about? We only get one block. That's the one up. See? It's easy to get one ups in this game, so you might not need the infinite lives cheat code if you want to make it easier. I'm still going to keep it on anyway because it, it just acts as a speed up. Well, more of these berries. I guess they're berries because they don't anticipate you to find Yoshi that early in the, in the hack. And, yeah. Keep forgetting you can jump on those fish that are already in the water when, when they normally jump. Even the ones that are already underwater, you can still jump on them as long as they normally come out of the water. Well, I missed that one up. Cheese Beach 2. And a path that's already open, as it seems. Once again, it's a blueberry for some reason. As soon as I find that Yoshi, I'm getting the secret exit for the key. Hey. Ooh. Looks like we got some of these transforming pipes, the ones that get longer and shorter, only this time they're already right ground into the desert. The desert floor. That one's also an extending pipe. These levels... Like, Panic of the Mushroom Kingdom, I guess these are short levels, but... Some of them, despite being short, will get annoying. Kinda tricky. One up just like that. They give me three blocks this time instead of one. Okay. And those are pits down there, so you don't want to fall in. Even if there was water down there, it would appear to be too deep. Or too low. Cheese Beach 3. Yeah. Pretty much everything is food themed. Even the final world, which appears to be encompassed in lava, it's actually salsa. So, pretty clever play on that. And no, there's no water here, those are all pits. Of course, this also has a lot of bonsai bills in it, so... We're on the wrong side of... The wrong side of Italy for now. We're on the Mafia side, I suppose. Or visiting the Mafia side. We're not actually siding with them, but... Yeah. They're pretty much our enemies because they're firing giant bullet bills at us. Even there. And I didn't get hurt. A bonsai bill that can swim in the water. Didn't even slow down a bit. You know what, since these levels are short... Might as well go into the castle. I'm probably not going to find a Yoshi because it's a castle. Way to promptly lose that power-up. 
So, I'm gonna have to save the secret exit to the first level for another video. And what are these stars about? Stars aren't food. Even starfish. For those who would consider it to be a fish, it's got way too many scales to be edible. Hey. Ain't it gross? Eh. Okay, so there's some ground there. And miraculously, I did not get killed by the thwomp. There's gonna be a power up some. Nope. No power up. Instead, we got some rising platforms. One that we're gonna need to wait till get to get to high tide before we can actually access it. Here comes the high tide. And there go the spikes. Now we need to wait till low tide, as it seems. And at the same time... These platforms do appear to slowly go down a bit. Maybe too slowly. Sometimes too dangerously. Oh, I hope there's a power-up in there, in case I have to fight a boss. Nope, no boss yet. We do have some water, though. And one power up right after another. In we go. Oof. Up we go now. And that almost seemed inevitable. There was an easy way to avoid it, but since I didn't restart from the halfway point, I feel like I need to be a little faster. Isn't that in all of us? Once again, a mushroom that apparently doesn't have any buoyancy. This this underwater stage doesn't appear to have sprite buoyancy enabled. Probably has something to do with why the thwomps in Vanilla Fortress are ac actually fall so fast. Speaking of castle, the memories of the classic castles. Bosses that are really easy to beat, but stages that are otherwise kind of hard. Only kind of hard. Thank you. And we start out by launching one of the castles as a rocket into a mountain. Mario kicked that one dude into the burning hot lava with smug satisfaction and managed to steal an egg from his fridge. Now, now, Mario. It's not good to steal. Now, onto the jungle. Where hopefully we'll be able to find Yoshi there. Great find jungle one next time.